The Adventures of Napkin <laughs> Step by step. Bum, bum. I'm the king of my castle. Stay up. Come on, Tower, stay up. Dumb castle. Hey, Benny. Something wrong? Look. Well, if you're trying to make a sand pancake, that's a pretty awesome sand pancake. I wasn't trying to make a sand pancake. Oh, silly me. I was trying to make a sand castle, but it keeps falling down. Hmm. And that must be very frustrating. Is it ever? Well, you know, when I'm frustrated and I want to, I do the balloon. The balloon? Mm hmm Check it out. First, you fill up your lungs with air, like you're a balloon. Really full. And then you. <laughs> and all the errs too. <laughs> all right, you try it. Very good. You feel better? Yep. Most of the herbs are gone, but I'm still frustrated. I can't make my sand castle. Well, then, how about a Napkin Man story? Sure. All right. This one is about a boy named Selim. He's a knight, and he has a pet dragon. Pet dragon? No way. Yes, way. There. Let's call them together, shall we? Yep. Napkin Man! Hi, Benny. Hi, Mr. Anthony. Hi, Hi Napkin, Napkin Man. Man. Uh, Mr. Anthony, if I'm going to visit a pet dragon, I think I'm going to need some dragon snacks. One bag of chocolate-covered dragon treats coming right up. Thanks, Mr. Anthony. It looks good enough to eat. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> if you're a dragon. <laughs> well, I've got the snacks. Now I'm ready. I'm Napkin Man. I'm here for you. If you're happy, sad, scared, or mad, these are all feelings I have had. I'm Napkin Man. I'll help you feel okay. Some things are kind of hard to get through, but with a little help, you can do it. Yes, you can. I'm Napkin Man. I'm Napkin Man. I'm Napkin Man. Have no fear. I'm your hero. I'm your Napkin Man. Ah, the olden days. Now, where is Sir Knight Selim? Aha, dragon smoke. That means I'm close. Behold, Sir Selim. Hi, Napkin Man. You remember my pet dragon, Smokey? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> of course I do. Who can forget such a smoky dragon as Smokey? Chocolate-covered Smokey snack? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Why'd you like them? <laughs> Smokey says thank you. Is that the only pack you brought? Uh, sorry. So, what's it like being a knight, Sir Salim? I love being a knight. I get to wear these neat gloves and boots. And check this out. <laughs> Needs a little oil, I guess. <laughs> Still very impressive. Let me show you around Salim, Sylvania. Ooh, a tour! <laughs> Sir Salim, here's the village square, where you can buy all kinds of stuff and watch the jester juggle apples. Ooh. 
snack time, Smokey? <laughs> this is where they make all sorts of important night stuff, like helmets and armor and shields. They're all in tune. <gasps> and here's my favorite place of all. A hill? This is where I'm going to build my castle. A castle? With a moat full of water and everything? A moat and stone walls and a tower with an awesome flag on top. Mm -hmm. Oh, and a giant litter box for Smokey. <laughs> Very important. <laughs> Would you like to help us build my castle? Oh, yes! I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> I've got all the stones and wood we need to make a moat, walls, and a tower. Let's start building! We need a moat. <laughs> and walls. We need lots of walls. But we didn't finish the moat. We can finish that later. Let's make the walls. Okay. Oh, and the tower, that's the best part. But the walls, uh... We'll finish them later. If you say so. We're done. Behold, my new castle. Um, interesting. Uh-oh. Push! Ha! Ah, there. Oh, no, not again. Push the other side. Uh. <sighs> ah, push everything! It's frustrating. Yes, frustrating. Hey, Sir Celine, when I feel frustrated, I always do the balloon. The balloon? Yeah, I take a big breath in. So you can go louder? <laughs> no, so I can become a balloon. Check it out. And then... <laughs> Mm. And all the rrrrs get blown out. Now you guys try it. <laughs> and let all the rrrrs out. <laughs> Smokey, your turn. <laughs> and out. <laughs> Whoops, I guess Smokey's was a hot air balloon. <laughs> <laughs> it feels better, right? Yeah, I'm not so frustrated now. Good. So back to our castle. Oh, what a mess. What did we do wrong? Hmm. I know. They tried to build everything all at once. Oh, and everything got mixed up and it all fell down, right? Right. They should try building one thing at a time. You mean step by step? Right. Good idea. Wait a minute. I just had an idea. Instead of building the castle all at once... This time we'll take it step by step. That reminds me of a song. Smokey, a little bass, please. When you do construction, it's a big production. So here's my introduction. You just gotta take it step by step. Oh, it can be a hassle when you build a castle. There's so much stuff to wrestle. So just take it step by step. 
We smooth the ground and make our moat go all around. Step two. We build our walls nice and strong so they don't fall. Step three. Our tower goes up straight. Ta -da! Ta -da! And it looks great. Now our job is done. We all had lots of fun. <laughs> because we took it step by step. Because we took it step by step. Because we took it step by step. go. You have a knight, a castle, and a dragon, and a napkin man just for you. Thanks, Mr. Anthony. I think I have a plan. I'm going to build my castle step by step. That's an excellent plan, Benny. When you do construction, it's a big production. So here's my introduction. Take it step by step. OK. I'm making a moat. That's step one. Now I'm going to make the walls nice and strong so they don't fall. And as a reward for your fine step-by-step -step castle building, I dub thee Sir Knight Benny. <laughs> The Adventures of Napkin Man. <laughs> Pony Express. Get along, little doggies. <laughs> Yeehaw! Oh, that's some mighty fine lasso in there, buckaroo. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Well, hey there, little cowgirl. This here roundup could sure use your help. I don't feel like it. If you don't mind my saying so, you seem like you're feeling kind of sad, Suki. And sad makes my family move away. Ooh, yes, that's a good reason to feel sad. We all miss Mary. Well, I miss her most of all because she's my best, best friend in the whole wide world. We used to play cowgirls together. She'd go, yippee ki yo and i go, yippee ki yay I remember. Oh, it's never easy when a friend moves away. Mr. Anthony, I feel achy right here. Oh, kiddo, I know you do. Well, sometimes you just have to feel sad for a little while. And that's OK. But when you're ready to get back in the saddle, you can do the achy shake. The achy shake? What's that? I'll show you. Achy shake, shakey, 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 You try it. Shakey, achy, shakey, shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Very good. How's your ache feel now? I think I shake the most of it away, but I still miss Mary. I know you do, Suki. Hey, did I ever tell you about the time that Napkin Man helped a little cowgirl named Betsy who was also sad? No, I don't think so. Betsy also had a very best friend named Jane. Just like Mary's my best friend in the whole world. Just like that. There. You ready to call Napkin Man? Yep. Napkin, Napkin Man. Man! Howdy, Suki. Howdy, Mr. Anthony. Yee-haw! Uh, hang on there, partner. Aren't you forgetting something? Oh, yes. One pair of cowboy boots coming <laughs> right up, buckaroo. Yeehaw! Look at me! I'm the ropingest, ridingest, napkin man cowboy around. Uh, napkin man, you're the only napkin man cowboy around. Uh -huh. Well, by gum, you're right, cowgirl. Let's move them out. Yeehaw! I'm napkin man. If you're happy, sad, scared, or mad, these are all feelings I have had. I'm Napkin Man, I'll help 
hope you feel okay. Some things are kind of hard to get through, but with a little help, you can do it. Yes, you can. I'm Napkin Man. I'm Napkin Man. Why, looky here. It's Cowgirl Betsy and Cowgirl Jane. How do you do, Cowgirls? Howdy, Napkin Man. So what are you two buckaroos up to today? Roping? Riding? We're not doing anything. Nope, we're too sad. Oh, no. Why's that? Jane's daddy got a new job. So our family's moving away today. Oh, dear, that's a mighty big change. No wonder you're sad. I have an ache right here. Oh, I know how that feels, partners. But when sadness comes a-calling and you've got an ache right here, it's time to do the achy shaky. Like this. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Shake away that achy ache. Give it a whirl, girls. Feeling any better? A little. Thanks, Cowboy Napkin Man. My pleasure. And there's still time for one last yippee ki yay yo pony ride together before Jane rides off into the sunset, isn't there? You're right, Napkin Man. <laughs> Why, it's Daisy and Petunia. Howdy, girls. Let's go for a gallop. Want to come too, Napkin Man? Sure do. Only I don't have a pony to ride. Napkin Man, meet Baloney the Pony. Well, howdy, Baloney. Saddle up and let's ride. <laughs> purple sagebrush, my favorite. I love purple. Yowza! Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Watch out for the tumbleweed! <laughs> I never want this day to end. I'm sure going to miss riding with you, Jane. I'm going to miss doing everything with you, Betsy. Jane! Come on, girl! It's almost time! That's my mom. We better go. I guess this is it. Goodbye, Betsy. Goodbye, Jane. See you around, Napkin Man. So long, Jane. There goes the bestest friend a cowgirl could ever have. That's okay, Betsy. You just cry it out. <laughs> I already miss Jane. Sure you do. But even though she's moved away, you can still be friends. Just stay in touch with each other. Stay in touch? How? Even when someone is far, far away, you can still stay in touch any old day. Just listen and I'll tell you the way. OK. There are lots of ways to stay in touch. You can write a letter, or if that's too much, you can call them up on the telephone, and then you won't feel so it really doesn't matter what you say. Just a hi, or I miss you. Or have a great day. Or if your friend is a pony, you could even say... Yay! Maybe you have a parcel to send. That's a fun way to stay in touch with a friend. You can send them a drawing or a poem or a letter. And, and that, my friend, will make you feel 
much better. That's it. I'm going to send Jane a parcel. Great idea, partner. It can be a friendship box full of all the things she loves. I'll send it to her by Pony Express. Come on! I wrestled up all kinds of things that Jane would like. Purple sagebrush. She loves purple. An apple for a petunia. An apple a day makes a pony say, Yay! Now, all we need is one more thing. Perfecto. Thank you, Tumbleweed. Can you send this to my friend Jane by Pony Express, please? Sure thing, Betsy. Whoa, wait a minute. Wouldn't it be awesome if Betsy got a friendship box from Jane, too? You know what, Cowgirl Suki? That would be downright awesome. Oh, hang on a second, Betsy. This just came for you. It's from Jane! Look! Purple sagebrush! Just like you sent her. And an apple for Daisy. And one for Baloney, too. Just like they like. And... a tumbleweed. Now that's a great cowgirl roping, riding friendship box. Yep, because Jane is the bestest friend ever. Yeah! Well, that's the story of how Napkin Man helped cowgirl Betsy and her best friend Jane to stay in touch. There you go. Thanks, Mr. Anthony. I'm going to make a friendship box for Mary, and I'm going to put this drawing in it. Why, that's the bestest idea I've heard, cowgirl Suki. You know what else? Hey, cowboys and cowgirls, let's round up some drawings to send to our friend Mary. And you know what else? We don't have to wait for the Pony Express. I can scan them into my computer and email them to her mom. Hey, how, Mr. Anthony? That way she can get them right away. That's right. Mary! Daddy, it's Suki. Gallop on over here and have a gander at who it is. Mary, I was just missing you. I miss you too, Suki. In fact, there's something I've been wanting to tell you all day. Yippee ki yay yo, cowgirl Suki. Yippee ki yay yay, cowgirl Mary. The Adventures of Napkin Man. That's my baby. There we go. Oh, that's nice. Oh, look at this cute, sweet baby teddy bear. Does this belong to you, Sally? I don't like babies. Oh, you don't? Why not? We have a new baby at our house, you know. You have a new baby teddy bear at your house? No, Sally, a new baby sister. New baby sister, oh. And that's a problem? Look at my sticker book. Uh, no stickers. No stickers because of the baby. The baby stole your stickers. No, Sally. It's because I used to play stickers with my mom, but now all she does is take care of the baby. And she doesn't play stickers with me anymore. So, no stickers. Makes me mad. 
Oh, that's a very mad face. I know. I know how that feels. You do? I do. You feel all tight, crunchy. <laughs> that's it, all scrunchy. Well, when I'm feeling really mad, I do the stompy stomp dance. Check it out. Stompy stomp like a dinosaur. Stompy stomp, hear me roar. You try it. Stompy stomp like a dinosaur. Stompy stomp. Let's hear you. Very good. Do you feel better? A bit, but I still have the baby problem. Well then, I think it's time for a Napkin Man story. Did I ever tell you about the time Napkin Man helped Susie, a little girl with a baby brother? I don't think so. Well then, you are gonna love this one. Ready to call Napkin Man? Yeah. Napkin, Napkin Man! Hiya, Sally. Hey, Mr. Anthony. Hi, Napkin Man. Uh, Mr. Anthony. Oh, right. Uh, sorry about that. There you go. Bootyful. Thanks, Mr. Anthony. I'm Napkin Man. If you're happy, sad, scared, or mad, these are all feelings I have had. I'm Napkin Man, I'll help you feel okay. Some things are kind of hard to get through, but with a little help, you can do it. Yes, you can. I'm Napkin Man. I'm Napkin Man. I'm Napkin Man. Have no fear, I'm your hero. Hiya, Susie. Hiya, Susie's mom. You're just in time, Napkin Man. We're making giant pancakes. We call them Flippy Floppy Flapjacks. Want to help? Flippy Floppy Flapjacks? You bet. What do I do? You can be the Flippy Floppy Flapjack Flipper. Me? A Flippy Floppy Flapjack Flipper? Can this day get any better? <laughs> Nice flapjack flipping, Napkin Man. Thanks. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'll be right back. What's that noise? That's my baby brother, Barry. He sure is loud. Yep. Whew. That's better. Shh, Napkin Man. You have to whisper. Why? You'll see. The baby's almost asleep. You need to be extra quiet, okay? Um, maybe you two should play in the other room. <sighs> That's why. Oh, we'd better skedaddle. This happens every time I start doing something fun with my mom. The baby starts crying? And mom goes running to look after him. It makes me really mad. Mad? I know how that feels. You get all tight and scrunchy. Yeah, that's it. Super scrunchy. Know what makes me feel better when I'm super scrunchy mad? The stompy stomp dance. Stompy stomp like a dinosaur. Stompy stomp, now hear me roar. Napkin man, don't stomp like that. You'll wake up the baby. Whoops, I forgot. See, another thing I can't do, the stompy stomp dance. Hmm, how about silly mad faces? They don't make any noise. Silly mad faces? Sure, you scrunch up your face like this. <laughs> Those are pretty scrunchy mad faces, not man. Give it a try, Susie. Okay. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a really scrunchy mad face. You look. <laughs> <laughs> what 
Why, thank you, Mapkin Man. Feel any better? A little. Mm. Uh-oh. The baby woke up. But we were being really quiet. I know. It's not your fault, Mapkin Man. Sometimes the baby just wakes up on his own. Susie, can you try and cheer up Barry while I go and get him some food? Sure, Mom. Hi, baby Barry. You look kind of mad. You know what I think he needs? Silly mad faces! <laughs> He's so cute when he laughs. He sure is. I really love my baby brother. Sure you do. You just miss flippy floppy flapjack time with your mom. Uh-huh. You know what you should do, Susie? What? Tell her. What do you mean? If you feel you miss your mother because of your baby brother, tell her. Tell her? Tell her. Tell your mother how you feel and why your feeling's real. Tell her. Tell her. That's right, mad faces can be fun. They look good on anyone. But they don't tell the whole story. I guess they don't. If your brother is a bother, then you have to tell your mother, or she won't know what your mad face is for. Just like Flippy Flap Jacks need a flipper who will flip them. Really busy mommies need a daughter who will tell them, Mom, what's going on? In your words or in a song, then she'll understand what's wrong if you just tell her. Aw, <laughs> you got baby Barry all giggly. How'd you do it? Silly mad faces. Er. Wow, that's some face. <laughs> no wonder he laughed. So, can we finish making our pancakes now? Not just yet, honey. I, I need to feed Barry. You know what, Mr. Anthony? What? Susie should tell her mom if she's mad and why she's mad. Yeah, that's an excellent idea. Good thinking, Susie. Can I give that a try? Sure, Napkin Man. That would be great. Uh, Mom, I have something to tell you. I didn't do my silly mad face just to make Barry laugh. You didn't? No, I did it because I was really, really, really mad. Ooh, why are you so mad, honey? Because every time we start doing something fun together, you mean like flippy floppy flapjacks? Yeah, then Barry starts crying. And I go running to take care of him. Every time. It's hard with a new baby brother, honey. <sighs> it is. But I am very, very glad you told me why you were mad. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Napkin Man, can you finish feeding Barry for me, please? Uh, well, I'll try. Thanks. Susie and I have some flapjacks to flip. Flippy floppy flapjacks! There you go. Thanks for your help. It was a good story. Oh, there's your mom, Sally, and the baby. Hi, Sally. Hi, Mom. Oh, how sweet. Can I hold it? <laughs> sure. Right. <laughs> Mom, can I show you something? Sure, honey. Hello. <laughs> Look. Uh oh. No stickers. I guess we haven't had much sticker time since the baby came. Sometimes it makes me feel mad. I didn't know you felt that way, Sally. I'm so glad you told me. Now that I know, I can do something about it. How about when we get home, Dad can feed Sophie, and you and I can finish this sticker book. Would that work? Yeah. Great. Hey, is anybody missing a little baby sister? <laughs> so cute. Yes. I really love my baby sister. <laughs> The Adventures of Napkin Man. 
Moroccan music. And the brave princess hopped on her magic carpet and flew all the way back to her palace in Morocco. The end. All right, let's hop on our magic carpets and fly off to our play areas. I need it. No, I need it. I need it. No, I need it. Benny, Louise, what's going on here? I want to make a lion, and I want to make an eagle. Isn't there enough clay to make both ideas? No. Uh, well, then maybe you can just make one creature. Then it should be my lion. Hmm. It should be my eagle. Hmm. Those are some very tightly crossed arms. Yeah, I feel all tight and twisty. Tight and twisty, all right. I think maybe the two of you are feeling very frustrated. Yep, that's it. I'm frustrated. Very frustrated. Very frustrated. Hmm. Well, you know, when I'm feeling very frustrated and my arms are all crossed and tight and like pretzels, I do the pretzel pull. The what? The pretzel pull. Check it out. First, you stand up, you cross your arms all tight and pretzel like. Then you pull very slowly. Very slowly. And then you stretch. Ah, you try it. Cross tight and pretzely to the pretzel pull. Slowly pull it. And then you go stretch. Ah, that's very good. Do you feel better? Yeah. Not so frustrated. But I still want to make my eagle. And I want to make my lion. What do we do? Hmm. I think maybe we need a napkin man story to help you decide. You want to hear it? Oh, yes. OK. This one is about the time that napkin man helped a little boy named Kareem and a little girl named Amina. They were musicians in ancient Morocco. Morocco? Just like in the storybook you read before. Just like that. Does this story have magic carpets in it? Let's find out. All right. Are you ready to call Napkin Man? Yep. yep. Napkin, Napkin Man! Man! Hiya, Benny and Louise. Hey, Mr. Anthony. Uh, Mr. Anthony? <laughs> you drew his cape on backwards. Yeah, it's supposed to be on his back, and not his front. OK, Napkin Man. <laughs> There. Thank you, Mr. Anthony. Now I'm ready. I'm Napkin Man. I'm here for you. If you're happy, sad, scared, or mad, these are all feelings I have had. I'm Napkin Man. I'll help you feel OK. Some things are kind of hard to get through, but with a little help, you can do it. Yes, you can. I'm Napkin Man. I'm Napkin Man. I'm Napkin Man. Have no fear. I'm your hero. I'm your Napkin Man. Ah, the Sultan's Palace. Kareem and Amina must be around here somewhere. That sounds like their music. Hi, Kareem. Hi, Amina. Hi, Napkin Man. Do you remember our pet camel, Carl? Of course I do. Who could forget such a cheerful camel as Carl? Be careful, Napkin Man. Carl likes to <laughs> lick. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty cheerful. Luckily, I have my trusty napkin cape. <laughs> You two were playing such nifty music. Thanks, we're each playing a song for the Sultan's party. I'm gonna play a fast song like this. Ooh, zippy, I love it. And I'm gonna play a slow song like this. Oh, so 
gentle and slow. Both songs sound fantastic. Fantastic indeed. <laughs> Sweet music to a sultan's ears. Hiya, sultan. Hi, napkin man. Nice to see you again. Are you coming to my party at the palace? I'd be delighted to. I can't wait to hear Kareem and Amina's songs. Songs? Did you say songs as in more than one song? Oh, no. I'm afraid not. What? My party is very busy. There will be only time for one song. But I know it will be great. Ta-ta! We can only play one song? Well, then it has to be Zippy Fast. Zippy Fast. Slow. Zippy fast. Gentle slow. Zippy fast. Gentle slow. Uh oh, you're both frustrated and tight and twisty as a pretzel. It's time to do the pretzel pull. Slowly pull your pretzel arms apart. And stretch! Ah, you two try. Pull those pretzel arms apart and stretch! Feel better? Yes. But I still want to play my song. And I want to play mine. What should we do? wants to play a fast song on her drum. And Kareem wants to play a slow song on his guitar. Hey, maybe they could each play their instruments the way they want to in the same song. Oh, that sounds like a great idea. Hmm. I have an idea. What if you both play your instruments together in one song? That could work. But I still want to play my Zippy Fast song. And I still want to play my gentle, slow one. You can play a song with some Zippy Fast parts and some gentle, slow parts. Like this. When you both have an idea but you can't agree, put them both together and soon you will see you might have something better than one idea could be. By themselves your songs sound fine, but put them together, yes, combine, then your songs will sound even more divine. Start with a little strum, begin nice and slow. Now add some speedy drums, and then before you know, your song will get zippy fast And the fun will last and last, slow then fast Together you play, each in your own special way And when you do, your song's even better You make great music when you play together Napkin man. <laughs> Thanks, but the carpet really does all the work. Okay, are you two ready to work on your song together? Yeah! Okay, you start slow and gentle. And I'll play zippy fast. Now you've got it! And just in time, too! Amina, Kareem, you're on! Yeah. <laughs> oh, fabulous! Magnificent! Great job, you two! Thanks, Napkin Man! Always glad to help, but I really should be going now. 
You're always welcome at my palace, Napkin Man. Thanks, Sultan. Bye, Bye Napkin, Napkin Man. Man. Bye, Kareem. Bye, Amina. Thanks for the great music. And bye to you too, Carl. You cheerful camel, you. And that's the story of how Napkin Man helped Kareem and Amina combine their ideas. Goodbye, everyone. Hey, we should combine our ideas and make an even better clay creature. We can make something that is part lion and part eagle. A lion eagle. Sounds great. Mr. Anthony, we're finished. Oh, wow. Benny, Louise, that is awesome. Hey, look what I made. A tiny guitar. In case your lion eagle wants to strum a tune for the Sultan. <laughs> <laughs>